Oh, okay. So about the prizes. Yes. Yeah, so about the prizes. Okay, anyways, <laughs> about the prizes, guys, so you know what you're in for. Each pack is worth $1,000, which I think is quite great compared to some of the other studios. You barely get anything like this. But you get to have the famous gold kettlebell. And you get two months free training, which I think is quite a bit of a saving. Um, F45 exclusive gift pack that includes a lot of merch from here so you can wrap it as hard as you want and a running bear gift card to, you know, once you've dropped all that weight off, you need some new gear. So that's what we're doing with this. Um, and we're having a female and a male winner. Female and male winner. And if you win the global, this is how much you're going to win. $10,000 just, just cash. Australia. Sorry? Just Australia. So, oh, just Australia. Oh, Australia then. Makes it easier. That's <laughs> even better. And the most important thing, self-esteem. Oh, and guys, these are a couple of, are these from our studio? Yes. Yep. These are studio. the results from our studio, yeah. guys. So this is real life. This isn't fitness models. Yeah. This is- There's no photo. Do they still come? Uh, I know they changed it. They changed it studios because they moved away. Oh, yeah. But guys, look at where they've come from. Okay, they were all in your shoes. They were all at so fitness you, levels like you. you. Just go back one thing. One. Yeah. Uh, Raul from the uh, your right side. Yeah. yeah. He lost seventeen kilos. <gasps> yeah, it was massive. <laughs> Seventeen. Seventeen. So and he's, <coughs> the studio he's at now, he's it's just gone on and. He dropped more ten, dropped he another dropped more, more and won again. So yeah, yeah. it is achievable, and you can maintain it. And that's what Liv was oh, saying about with the eight week yeah. challenge. You've got that four weeks in between each challenge that they have a maintenance phase, so you can still stay on the app. So if you find that you're doing all right with the food you and come the back to thing roll. like that, that four weeks in between, you don't have to fall off the wagon. So yeah. you can maintain it and then smash it at the next challenge. And if you maintain it and you um, keep on it. You'll find that the first two weeks of detoxing doesn't affect you. So you get that first two weeks extra gains, whereas everyone that falls off the wagon and then has to go through it again, they go through that two weeks of detox every time. So if you stay in that maintenance phase, you don't lose those two weeks where you're detoxing and having the headaches and the body aches and the tired, the fatigue, all that sort of stuff. You're just smashing it straight into the next one. And that's where you find you get even more results and better results. Guys, just for you to have an idea, Howell has 64 years old. He was coming five days in a week and he was following the meal plan really strictly. Doesn't mean you guys have to do that, but it's just an example. If he can do it, we all can do it, guys. Seriously. And as you can tell, guys, they are all normal, everyday people, okay? They haven't been training for 10 years. They don't, they're not shredded or anything like that. They're healthy, okay? They've made it a lifestyle. And now that's what they look good. like. Okay, I'm sure all of you guys are wondering what you guys are going to look like after the eight weeks now if you smash it out too. So, general tips, what have we got here? Yep. All right. So, try make a routine, guys. Say, all right, Monday to Friday, I am going to class at 6.15. Make that a, like a routine, make it part of your day, okay? Make sure that you say, all right, every night I'm gonna to go to bed by nine o'clock. You're in bed by nine o'clock because all of this is going to add up to your results, okay? Remember the water intake and why we need to drink water because our bodies are made up of it and we sweat it all out so we need to replenish it for things to work. Um, it's important to have your five meals a day, not necessarily following the meal plans, but as we discussed before, healthy choices. If you are craving something sweet or something salty, make sure you always find an alternative to it. If you can't find one, you speak to your trainers as soon as possible. And avoid the scales, guys. Our bodies fluctuate every single day. That is why you guys are getting the body scans done because it's more specific in regards to your fat and your muscle and everything. And you're only getting one, one every four weeks or even one at the start and one at the end, okay? please do not get on the scales every single day because if you might actually be looking really lean and quite muscly but your weight would have gone up and i don't want you to get disheartened if that's what you see okay so no more scales throw them out
just one more thing, guys. Those of you where why your goal is actually getting eight hours of sleep, how many of you sleep with your phone by your bed? Or are on Facebook just before you go to sleep? <laughs> if the sleeping thing is a goal for you, leave the phone in the kitchen or the lounge room on charge and avoid using it because your bodies do run at an electronic frequency and by having your phone next to your bed, the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth turned on in the background actually affects your sleep pattern. So leave it on charge in the lounge room. Stop using about 15 minutes before you go to bed. If you need a shower before you go to bed, do that. But try making this part of your goal if you are a Facebooker, social Nazi, or you're having trouble sleeping, okay? You might be surprised at how much that affects your sleep pattern. I just have a question. Yes. With that, do you just get an alarm clock? I know that sounds so strange. <laughs> 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 it's my alarm. alarm. Well, I, yes. my phone is my alarm, but you I have it set off. it on the loudest possible freaking ringer. I'm far away. And just in the kitchen. So the most echoiest part of the house. Or you get an alarm then. Or you get an alarm A twelve dollar alarm clock from Kmart is gonna do the same job yeah. that uh, 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 is still gonna work. But yeah, just just trial it. I know a lot of people have found just by leaving the phone in the kitchen, not having it next to the bed, it it allows you to sleep. Alright, and number seven, use the support groups, please. Like actually utilize them. That's the whole point they're there. Whatever you need to know, you ask, whatever. Use that group as much as you possibly can. Talk to people, ask them how their day was. If they were struggling, like if you were struggling, they probably were too. If you wanna say like, hey guys, how'd you go? Day two, no coffee, how are you feeling? Cause I'm feeling like shit. Then they're probably gonna feel the same way and you all be in the same boat together. We all be friends, okay? And then- Makes it easier. It makes it, it does make it a lot easier when people are on the same path as you. The struggle town, the struggle is real. You know. Everyone will be on the same. Anyways, drinks to avoid, you guys know already, soft drinks and alcohol, or we are limiting them. The coffee, um, lots of water, guys. And if you are going for juice, 100% fruit juice, or even squeeze it yourself, remember, as natural as it possibly can be. Um, results may vary as well, guys, like I just said before. Even, like, especially as women, we go through so many hormonal changes, so don't be disheartened. Just always look for that muscle mass and the body fat percentage when you do the scans. We have gone through the protein. If you need to see me after class, see me. And one more thing, this is where Jasmine is here. If you live a very busy life, please don't make an excuse for not cooking food because Jasmine is here to tell you all about herself. Let's go. Hi, so my name's Jazz. Um, I own Active Eating, so it's an organic, um, healthy meal prep company, and I'm actually doing all the challenge specific food. Um, so if you don't want to cook the challenge food because you hate cooking, or you don't have time, or you like the kitchen to not look like a whirlwind just going through it, I can sort that out for you. Or if you're one of those people who just wants to eat healthily, I have like an entire menu of normal food as well. Um, a couple of things just to think about in general, irrespective of if you're ordering food or not, is that organic stuff is always going to be better for you. If you're buying grass-fed protein, so chickens, cows, whatever, um, double check with whoever you're buying it from, and they're only going to be grass-finished if it comes from a butcher. So if you're buying your, if you're buying like the organic or grass-fed stuff from the supermarket, you're, gonna go out on a limb and say there's no way that it's grass finished so what happens is they'll like raise their cattle on grass which is obviously really good for you and then in the last month or so so that the cattle weighs more so they get more for it when they sell it they'll put it on grain so as you know if you eat sweet potatoes or you eat brown rice or whatever you hold water so you'll feel a little bit bloaty the next day that is exactly what's going to happen to a cow or a chicken or whatever it is so then that whole cow becomes little bits of cow and then you cook your 100 grams worth of chicken breast or your 100 grams worth of steak. If it's organic and it's grass fed and grass finished, you might get like 80, 85 grams of steak. And you'll be like, yes. Because you still lose some in fat and some in water that's naturally held in muscles. If you're looking at something that's been grain fed or grain finished, you might
might only get like 60 grams or 65 grams because a lot of that's going to be water. So you're going to end up hungrier than the person that spent an extra two dollars a kilo more than you sitting over there who got an extra 20 grams worth of food. Um, unfortunately, in the first couple of weeks of the challenge, you will be hungry. Um, the, you get more food as the challenge goes on and your metabolisms kick up, but also in the first couple of weeks, everything's there's a lot of fish and fish is really high in fat, which means you don't get as much food, still the same amount of calories, but you might not feel as full because you haven't eaten the same volume. Does that make sense? Um, the only other thing that I've been telling everybody that I've gone to see is if you really hate a vegetable, let's just say kale, because no one likes kale, um, you need to make sure that you're swapping it for something that is along the same line. So it needs to be another green vegetable. It can't be sweet potato because sweet potato is a carb, all right? So if it's green and you hate it, change it, but make sure you change it for something else that's green. I'm pretty sure Pam's added me to the members. Not yet, but I will. Yeah, so if you have any questions, I don't care if you're buying food or not. I obviously do, but I don't. If you have a question and you're not buying food, I'm not gonna go, nah, Liz, she's not buying food. No. Like, just ask me or ask the guys and they'll ask me. I don't have a problem answering questions. I'm not gonna come up with meal plans for you or create whole new meals to substitute things in. But if it's like a nutrition question at all, or it's like, can I swap this for this? Like, just ask and I will, I've got no problems answering them. Um, all your food is probably gonna rock up here on a Saturday for you to collect. Your orders, if you're going to order food, just need to be in by 2 p.m. on Tuesday. Because I have to talk to my guys and they deliver it all to me on Wednesday and it all gets cooked on Thursday. Um, I've got a whole pile of different pack prices that I can email to you if you're interested. I've bought some tiny little like shot samples of normal meals and I've got cards and flyers. So if anyone has any specific questions, come and ask me. If anyone wants to try anything, come and ask me. Has anyone got any general questions that they feel like the group would like answered? Or have you guys got any? Are you guys all good regarding that? What are the cops? It depends on how many meals you want. If you're after like all of it. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't want to do anything. Just bring it to me. Um, the, 20, the 21 meal and seven snack packs are 310. Because there is a lot of fish. It cost me for the first week. 21 meals. Is that It'll all, you just need to put it in the microwave or take it out of the container and put it on the stove or in the oven, depending on what it is. So if it's roast veggies and meat, obviously that would go in the oven if you're not a microwave person. If it's some kind of like Mexican chicken and veggie thing, chuck it on the stove. But it needs to come out of the plastic before you, unless it's going, I have to tell people this because I've had someone put a plastic container in the oven before. I work um, on site. Pardon? I work on site. I thought I had a solution to all my problems. <laughs> microwave. Microwave? That's yeah. what I mean. So yeah. it can be done in a microwave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I've got people, yeah, I've got FIFO guys who will buy a whole pile of food and put it in the eskies and take them to site. Yeah. And I've got normal menu meals as well for those who want, like, because I've packed up the active eating, so I've got 21 and 7, so 21 meals, 7 snacks. I can't remember how much it is, but it is cheaper than the F45 food because there is no seafood. Seafood is about three times as expensive as any other protein. So that's why your F45 challenge food is more pricey because I mean, it's more pricey. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys, so. So Jasmine has some samples, right? Yeah. Yeah. If you want to grab samples and flyers and stuff on your way out, I'll let Liv finish wrapping up and then I can, if anyone's got individual personal questions, answer those and they can. Guys, just, just some announcements. Sorry to interrupt you, Liv. Uh, just to remind you all that tomorrow we have the playoffs. We, it's the official F45 fitness test. It's just 10 minutes. It's made for everyone. So you're more than welcome to come. It's not mandatory if you're doing the challenge. Just wanted to say that. Yes, I know you guys know that you, oh, you think it's hard. And yes, some of the stuff is hard. But it is a fitness test. Okay? To see where you are at currently and what points you get for yourself. Okay. In eight weeks time when we do it again, if you have beaten yourself by 10 points, then you know that you have officially beaten a 
haven't gotten better at your fitness, okay? So if you can't perform some of the exercises now, that's fine. Why are you, okay, not I'm not. looking at them going, there's no yes. chance I can do it. No, but. <laughs> oh, that's me. Oh, that's that. <laughs> no, that's some of them. But guys, if you can't do something now, that is fine. You know that. Try and smash out the things like the roller, the lateral hops, the bench hops. We have done that so many times in class and I know you can do those. So get as many of those as you can done, get the points, do it again in eight weeks and improve. Okay, that's the whole point of the fitness it's, test. It's not a competition. It is not a competition yeah. like the ones at City Beach. It's not like that. The rules mm -hmm. will apply but you will not be at that level where you need to complete everything. Yeah, it's okay? a competition actually against yourself. That's, That's all. all it is. It's One more. Ten minutes. Yeah, yeah ten, ten minutes. minutes. Is everyone else watching you do it? So, <laughs> I'll, guys, I do need one more thing from you. So I need you to take a photo of this because I need to give these to your respective coaches so they know what your goals are. So when you come to class, they are picking on you for all the right reasons. So take a photo, keep that one, and then we'll collect them back from you. <laughs> now, this is the time, guys, for you to ask any questions that you may have. Anything at all, ask me now. Is there any other stuff? Any other supplements? Yeah. Um, I really well, so creatine is for strength. If that is one of your goals, you can take it throughout the strength phase. But there are a couple that I can go through with you later. That's just, just different. And, um, yeah. Yeah. So if you want, we can talk about creatine after. Guys, if you came for the info session and you know.